Hi everyone, Mrs Reynolds here and I'm just going to take a couple of minutes to speak to you about Spanish at GCSE. So the first question is why study Spanish at GCSE? Now I could talk for a very long time here about why I think languages are the best thing ever, but I only have a few minutes. I'm going to try and get as much information as I can into a short amount of time. So the first point I want to talk about is the fact that over year seven, year eight and, year, and nine, all of the skills that you have acquired, the translation, listening, reading, grammar, all of those things will give you such a good foundation to build on at GCSE. So everything that you've already got, there's amazing skills that you've built up over the last couple of years. We will really, really continue to enhance those skills. We always as well talk about how important languages are for the future, so CVs for job applications, uh, future employers, colleges, universities, they really do love to see languages on there. Just because, you know, obviously the importance if you go to work for an international or global company that that brings, but also the skill set that you get by learning a language, problem solving, thinking on the spot, um, it really does show such a good set of key skills. Um, as well, with learning a language, it really opens your mind to different cultures, the way different people live, different ideas as well. You meet new people, you make connections. Um, you know, I talk a lot about how amazing it is when you actually go to Spain or South America and you use your language for the first time. Even if it's something simple like ordering a cup of coffee, but the first time that you use your language in a real life situation, it is such an amazing feeling. I really, it, it's absolutely incredible. You have fun learning languages. It's not always easy. I'm not going to sit here and say it's an easy thing to do, but the hard work that you put into languages, you really get that paid back with the experiences and the amazing um, yeah, opportunities you get by going and then using your languages. It is a fun thing to do. It is really fun to learn languages. Yes, it can be hard at times, but it is so, so worth it. Um, what do we study then? So we cover the AQA course, the AQA exams at the end of year 11. You will study 12 topics, which are spread across the two years, so over year 10 and year 11. Um, they cover things like friends, family, relationships, technology, free time, school. So things that you very much covered over Key Stage 3. But then we look at things that are more kind of relevant as well to the modern world, so the environment. Uh, we look at cultural issues in Spain, volunteering, helping others. Uh, we also do a lot of work on festivals and traditions and fiestas in Spain and the Spanish speaking world. So you really end the course with a good understanding of life and traditions in Spain and in South and Latin America as well. Um, so the exams, they are all terminal. That means that all of your exams at the end of year 11, there's no coursework, there's no exams through year 10. Everything comes at the end of year 11. Um, it's a tiered specification which means that you do foundation or higher, which is a decision that you make with your teacher, normally about January, February time of year 11. So it's not something we need to worry about at this point. We don't need to worry about it until later on in year 11. You have four skills that are examined. They're each worth 25% of your final grade and they're reading, writing, listening and speaking. Just on the tiers, um, you do all of the exams in foundation or all of them in higher. You can't mix and match between the two. And just about the speaking, because the speaking does throw up a few kind of worries quite, quite often. Please don't worry about the speaking. We do so much practice and it is nowhere near as bad as you probably think it is. Um, in fact, by the end of year 11, it is most people's strongest skill because we practice it so much and people realise actually it's a really lovely way to get my opinions and my feelings across. So please, please, please don't let the speaking put you off. The main difference is then from Key Stage 3, uh, we go way more in depth into the language, looking at different grammar aspects, different vocabulary. You know, we expect you to learn your vocab every week, just like you have done through Key Stage 3. That carries on. Um, all the grammar that you've learned so far. So at the moment, you guys have done the past, present and future tenses. That gives you a really good base to build on. We'll use those, we'll revise them. You guys will just know it kind of like the back of your hand by the end of year 11. And we then build on with more tenses, more grammar as well. So you can really get your fluency and your confidence across um, in Spanish. We also have an exchange, a fantastic exchange programme with a school in Talavera de la Reina, which is just south of Madrid. Um, it's an absolutely amazing opportunity. It's not compulsory. It's completely optional. But I do highly recommend it if you are able to. Um, I've been lucky enough to go to Spain on the exchange twice now. 
And it's just absolutely amazing and a privilege to see students um confidence just grow over that time spending that time living with a spanish family obviously at the moment it's all a little bit up in the air to be confirmed uh with what the travel restrictions will be next year but fingers crossed we can get that running again if you have any questions about the course about spanish at gcse then please either send myself um the h dot reynolds um an email or miss sands who's the head of department or if you're in Miss Perez's class, then by all means, feel free to send her an email as well to ask any questions that you may have. But please do think about it. Um, you know, like I've said, the skills, the opportunities that come with language learning, the experiences that are available to you by doing it are absolutely incredible. Um, any questions, like I said, send us an email. Muchas gracias y adios.